that Porsche that she crashed, uh, where she allegedly hit the guy who's uh, now felt this she got arrested for. Um, the other interesting remember this was the car where he bought it, this is he didn't car. really own it yet, it was registered to the Real Housewives of Miami. And you know, this is the artwork that he did. I mean, he's a pretty famous artist, and his, um, his artwork goes for a lot of money, so this guy has tons and tons of money. Yeah, and however, I gotta say, he's got really bad charges. By Jimmy Kerr, the king. Well, that's what I was about to say. And then he gave him a child. And now, the kid that you see in the video that he walked around the child, that's his child. It's one thing about the kid driving a car. Let him walk around with a child. I think there's a little more going on here than just two friends, Joe. I think there's a little more going on here. Well, Mike, you know what? Let's just table that for one second and talk about the fact that Lindsay Lohan is holding the kid and the talk in our newsroom this morning was that she might have been holding the kid as a way of deflecting the paparazzi, almost using the kid as a shield from the paparazzi, which is kind of a bizarre thing to do, um, you know, when especially for the father. I think there's a lot to be said about uh, using the kid as a deflect. This is the first time here that he would have the money more than her at least, and that he's on the hook for any of Lindsay Lohan's hijinks behind the wheel. And not only does she have a problem with cars, she seems to have a particular problem with Porsches. If you recall, one of her DUIs was with the behind wheel of a Porsche in West Hollywood. Uh, and then she got into an accident on the Pacific Coast Highway this summer in a Porsche, a bad accident, and then a in a Porsche. And now she got allegedly hit a guy in a Porsche uh, in New York City. Uh, by the way, in Jen Romney, uh, the provisions fly in the face of what Tag's father, Mitt Romney, believes is very much pro-life, believing that abortion really can only be uh, can only be used when there is rape incest or the life right. of the mother is on the line. So let us show you the, the agreement that he signed, and this is called paragraph 13 of the agreement, and there are two really important provisions. One is this, if in the opinion of the treating physician or her independent obstetrician, there is potential physical harm to the surrogate. Notice, not life-threatening, just merely physical, physical harm to the surrogate. The decision to abort or not to abort is to be made by the surrogate. Now, here, chromosomally abnormal. The decision to abort or not to abort is to be made by the intended parents. The intended parents are Tag and Jen Romney. And that means that if they think it's just not going to be a healthy boy or girl, that they have the right to abort the pregnancy. Now, that is not what Mitt Romney believes for sure. Mitt Romney is involved to this extent. We know that Mitt Romney, uh, that Mitt Romney helped pay for helped pay for some of the expenses connected uh, with this surrogate birth. We do not know if Mitt Romney read the contract. But again, it does fly in the face. Here's what we now found out. Here's how the plot thickens. The guy who was kind of in the middle of putting the surrogate... I don't think Paris Hilton is homophobic. I think she's right. stupid for what she said, but I don't think she's homophobic. I mean, her actions don't necessarily square with what she's saying to this guy, who, by the way, was gay in the back of a, of a taxi cab, and God knows what she had to drink or whatever. Uh, when she was in that cab in New York City. You guys, you guys know, like, she does stuff like this a lot where she just does stupid things. I don't know if she just doesn't think beforehand or what, but you remember where in 2007, her, she was dancing in a club and she said the N-word on camera to somebody and she also did that Nazi salute on a yacht in 2010, right, I believe. Right. So, I mean, she does these things. I just, I really feel well, she, bad for her. She should be used to apologizing by now. Yeah, yes. really, she's got it down to an art form. <laughs> Thing is, the person choosing sides. He always looked like an amazing father to me. 
So it seems and like... She even said, I'm not going to comment about that, but then she went out what she wanted to say. Paul always seemed like an amazing father. Now, she is hedging a little bit because she says, based on what she's seen, right. so she's not necessarily saying it didn't happen. You don't know. But, like but, we always say, you have no idea what's going on. She, she also, in this in this request to get what she got custody and a restraining order against Paul, he can't see the kids or be around her. Um, she had some firepower. She filed several declarations, one of them being from Dr. Charles Sophie, who is a very... No, you know, Adrian, I don't think that that's something that she would share. She's pretty, um, kind of has a little bit of an emotional wall in general, and I don't think that she would share those, that intimate of details of something was going on in her personal life. She's got that strong woman that, that she does. Um, but those boys mean everything. Welcome to TMZ Live. We're coming back. Welcome back to TMZ Live. More trouble for Amanda Bynes today. Well, at least she was not actually on the road, uh, but this is more of a professional uh, crisis for her. She has uh, her team, her management team, is jumping ship. They left. They, they basically said, we can't deal with you anymore. And she has literally lost um, everybody in her professional life. She lost her uh, her agent, her entertainment lawyer, and her publicist. And that's, that's everyone. That's for pretty much, except like, that the parents, like we've said before, just don't really uh, grasp what the situation is. They grasp right. how, how brave the situation is. And we right. got the same reaction. Everything. And uh, if she wants to get involved as a career as a fashion designer, she's not going to need an agent and a publicist. See, I don't think it's as simple as her making a career choice. I think there's a mental issue going on here. But it, from she everything impaired in, in, in you know, making decisions. That's right. And, 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 and in terms of her being an adult, I don't think that answers this question. Because if you remember with Britney Spears, she was kind of estranged from her father. And kind of, she was she estranged was. from Jamie Spears. He stepped in and became the hero for Britney Spears that he had done absolutely nothing in her life that was real constructive for years. Stepped in and saved her life and ultimately became her conservator, which he still is today, and turned her life around. So you can do that with an adult. Everything. And uh, if she wants to get involved as a career as a fashion designer, she's not going to need an agent and a publicist. See, I don't think it's as simple as her making a career choice. I think there's a mental issue going on here. But it, from everything impaired in, in, in you know, making decisions. That's right. And, 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 and in terms of her being an adult, I don't think that answers this question. Because if you remember with Britney Spears, she was kind of estranged from her father. And kind of, she was estranged from Jamie Spears. He stepped in and became the hero for Britney Spears that he had done absolutely nothing in her life that was real constructive for years. Stepped in and saved her life and ultimately became her conservator, which he still is today, and turned her life around. So you can do that with an adult children. And it seems like it's a process that the parents, at least, you know, going into this early on, didn't think there was a problem because they may have been getting that from Amanda herself. Right. And, you know, getting on the phone, well, Amanda's well, not going to call them, you know, and say, I'm, I'm, I'm having a huge well, mental issue. I, I don't know. I think your parents have a huge impact on your life, adult or not. Your parents, if they are worried about you and concerned, they're going to support you, and it's a big deal. Well, there's one positive or one potential positive for Amanda Bunnings. Yes. On the horizon. Goodyear, the good people at Goodyear have reached out to Amanda, although she doesn't have any managers up to so squares that just up. a minor little Maybe thing you should go get the lessons just a minor little thing hi this is justin from australia hey i charles i just want to say that yeah man combined she's not doing what she wants to do take a break get out of the spotlight and once she gets a license back go to good year do the driving and hey she might find she wants to do a racing career from now oh on. god no 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 no, no. we don't need that justin yeah. just never Ra racing is dangerous ever. Ever. don't even see ever that's Chad Johnson. So Chad Johnson uh, has now gone to court, and he has uh, been sentenced. This uh, the domestic violence incident incident with Evelyn Lozada has now been squared away in court. Anyway, uh, he was sentenced this morning. He pled no contest. Pled no contest, and will not get jail time. Which is interesting because remember he was accused, for, and, and uh, Evelyn had found uh, a receipt for condoms. Uh, they were arguing about it, and Chad headbutted.